afternoon. George Cook here on the McKenzie River in beautiful Western Oregon, down here Riverside with the Caddis Fly Boys. Now Rio's got a lot of new spay lines about to hit here in August of 2013. The switch chucker, while an absolute gift to the switch casters, an all-purpose line on a switch rod, is a sleeper on some other things as well. Here, we've got a number seven switch chucker on a spay rod. This time, the 6126-4 Dually, the new spay rod from Reddington. The switch chucker is a fascinating choice even on a spay rod in that with the basic head of 25 feet, 14 feet of handling line, and some sort of tip of your choice, you've got a nice, easy loading spay line that can play a host of situations with a spay rod, particularly one that's under 12 foot nine, transcending to use on conventional switch rods. This number seven switch chucker is fairly ideally suited to this 6126, 12 and a half foot six weight, but is ideal on a seven weight switch rod. Check it out. To be sure, I could use this line in a multitude of situations. A full floating line. I can adapt a 15 foot floating tip to it or a Mo 10 foot floating tip. Any of the conventional Mo's, even right up through a 15 foot conventional sink tip, which in a type three is what I've got on this setup. And as you can see, this is easily going out there at the 95 to 100 foot range off this 12 and a half foot six spay rod. Now that right there, Chris Daughters, is an unconventional boat. That is the inner log. The non-conventional use of a log in an inner tube. Welcome to Oregon. <laughs> Again, the switch chucker is proving its versatility not only for the switch rod game, but also some select spay rods. Give it a try.